Hello, Yarnabees. It's uh, afternoon here. I can't believe it's already 12 o'clock. It's the day is just going, getting away from me. Um, oh, it's cold for me. It's it's sunny outside. It's really warm outside, but the house seems very cold. It's always been like that. Um, so I'm wearing a fuzzy coat. <laughs> Um, I don't want to make a fire yet because then it gets really too hot in here in the evening and George doesn't want to put on the, the heat so you know men <laughs> but anyway um, I have a few things to talk about today and I have a whip and I have a finished object um, so let's start with this Last night, <laughs> I decided that <clears throat> I wanted to have some fun with Tia. I bought George the Walking Dead Monopoly game two years ago. Two. He never opened it. It cost me $60. He never opened it. He's never played it. Um, so I decided we're going to play this darn game. So Tia and I broke it open and uh, began to play. Now it says in the instructions that it's supposed to be about an hour game ish. We were like three hours. Yeah. It went on and on and on and I lost my shirt. Like it just, Tia whipped my butt big time. <clears throat> but we laughed and laughed and of course we had a couple drinks and you know what it's like when you have a couple drinks and you're really tired you laugh at stupidest stuff right and that's what we did last night we just we laughed so hard we had a headache it just felt like our brains were gonna explode and it was those belly laughs like the ones where nothing comes out and you're just going <laughs> And then <laughs> you're trying to breathe. It was kind of like that. So um, it was a lot of fun. We didn't go to bed until what? One? Oh, don't know where she went. <laughs> it was like one o'clock in the morning. And uh, so we were absolutely exhausted. So I got to sleep in a little bit this morning. Not very much. Um, but yeah, it was it was a blast. It was really nice to actually have that with my daughter. So, <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, I, I've been trying really hard to get caught up on all the videos that I've been missing. Uh, it's been kind of difficult to do that and crochet and do stuff with Tia and all that. And it's just, I'm getting backlogged. But not by a lot. You know, it's only a couple of days worth of videos that I have to catch up on. Um, but I did watch Jackie from Hooking in Good Company this morning. <laughs> she cracks me up. Um, she had, she just got in uh, to England, to the UK. And uh, she came home to a whole bunch of boxes of shipments of yarn that she brought, that she had ordered, and it got brought in there. And she, she was so overwhelmed. Um, she just almost looked like she wanted to cry. She was just like, I have all this yarn and I don't know what to do with it. And I was just like, holy, <laughs> like, that's nothing. <laughs> like, Jackie, that's nothing. Like, you should see my stash. Holy man. I've got not only all of this over here, I have stuff behind the couch, I have stuff in that room, I have stuff downstairs. Like when George says that the house is my my yarn utopia, he's not kidding, right? Like I have yarn everywhere and it's a little ridiculous to be honest. I have a problem. I'm, I'm sure I have an addiction. I've got I've I've got a yarn addiction, which is really kind of funny because my mom, um, she she never had a big yarn stash, 
but she always seemed to have enough. And um, I always thought, you know, what is the big deal? You know, like, I don't understand what the big deal is. But now I do. Now that I have been crocheting, uh, sale, boom, I'm there. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, I'm going on all the yarn sites and I just, I keep putting things in my cart, you know, and then I go back later and I take out the things that I'm not interested in any anymore. And it's this weird game. You know, and then when I do order it, I think I really don't need it. You know, but then I have I have an idea in mind when I order it. And then by the time it gets to me, I forget what that was. And that's only like a couple days to get here. And I've already forgotten what it was that I wanted to make it with. Uh, so uh, it's just it's I know you can all relate. <laughs> so, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Tia and I have been sneezing for a few days now, and I'm really hoping we're not getting sick. Oh, oh excuse me. I'm so sorry. Like I said, didn't sleep a lot last night. <laughs> um, oh, burr. So, yeah, so what you have, Jackie's not, you know, Maybe for you it's a lot, but for for a lot of people that's that's pittance. That's nothing, you know. So, but what you did get was really pretty. Um, I'm sure you'll find a use for it, you know, because you seem to crochet a lot. So I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, um, Expressions Fiber Arts. I went on her channel today. And actually, I did that yesterday, and oh my god, the, did I already talk to you guys about this? I can't remember. I don't think I did. But she's got a, um, a shawl called the Red Velvet Rose Shawl. What? This thing is freaking gorgeous. It's like a deep, I'm really into this deep claret red now. Um, <clears throat> but the yarn that she used was so beautiful. And she has a link to that yarn. I'll put that link down below for the video. I downloaded the free, um, th free pattern. And she's got a little video on how to do this one part of the shawl. So I don't have that yarn. I wish I did, but I don't. And I, like I said, I can't, I cannot spend 30 or 40 or $50 on a skein of yarn. I just can't seem to do it. But <clears throat> so what I did was I started with, of course, my latte, my Karen latte. And this one is Horizon Blue. And so I'm starting the shawl with that. Don't know how it's going to look. Haven't got a clue. Um, but I'm going to try. And if it doesn't work out as well as I hoped, then maybe I'll get a thinner yarn or something. So I don't like working with thin yarn. But <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Um... <laughs> Uh, Rosie at Nona Stitching Lounge, we all know and love her. She did a video, she did an unboxing of her ice yarns. And she showcased the Rockstar um, yarn in the red that I love, the Claret. Oh my God. I actually have that in my cart right now. Um, she beat me to it though. <laughs> Um, the Rockstar is a great uh, yarn. Actually, I have a couple. I think I showed it to you before, but hold on. I'll show it to you now. Okay, I lied. She has Rockstar, and it's from Ice Yarns. I have Rock and Roll, which is the exact same yarn, but this one is from Hobium. Um, 
So that's, can you see that? Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. This has got a gold tinge to it. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, this one is absolutely stunning. But it's the exact same yarn as the Rockstar. <clears throat> so, I will put a link down below for the Rockstar uh, from Ice Yarns. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, wow. Holy man. <laughs> Just jingled my brain there. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna put the link down below for the Rockstar Ice Yarn. Ice Rock Star. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Billy from the Crafty Floridian. We are all thinking about you right now. Um, she's going in for her surgery. And uh, we wish her all the best. And we're all rooting, uh, rooting you on, cheering you on. Um, we know, I mean, I know that once you have this surgery, you're going to be so much happier and so much freer to be able to do what you need to do. So we love you very much. Mwah! And uh, we, we hope you have a speedy recovery. Okay. Um, what else? The weather. Oh. I heard that in Alberta, they got a dump of snow in Canada and Alberta Canada it's like one province over from us uh, they got a huge dump of snow and then my friend she's in Saskatchewan she sent me a picture that she got a little dusting of snow and then Lisa from Lisa's crochet says she's got nothing so it's like it's weird we don't have any yet but the two provinces that are in between do and then nothing at the other end so I'm I, what I've heard and I'm looking way out on the mountains and usually if I see snow out on the mountains out there then we're going to be getting it here shortly after but the the island doesn't usually get that much snow right we are pretty lucky that way I don't know if it has anything to do with the ocean being next to the ocean or whatever I think it's supposed to warmer I don't know but anyway um I got a puppy sitting beside me um so I heard that it's supposed to be a pretty rough winter this year for everybody I heard that it we're supposed to get you know quite a bit of snow the temperatures are going to be colder and uh so I guess we'll see what happens I really hope it doesn't snow here that much because I don't drive in the snow. The minute we get a snowflake, my car is parked. And then George has to chauffeur me around. But if I go for my surgery on my foot, then I'm gonna be housebound anyway. So that's gonna be interesting. Because if, uh, if I have to go for surgery and the weather goes for crap, I have craft fairs that I have to do. So it's, it could be a mess. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. Having said that, um, oh, who was it now? There's a couple of, of vlogs that I've been watching where everybody's making lists or going back and seeing what list, their list that they made in January or December or Jan January next year, last year. <clears throat> and talking about what they had planned for this year and how far along they've gotten. I've decided that I'm going to do that in December for the next year for 2020. But also when I get my, when I have my surgery, I've decided that I'm getting those damn blankets done that I like those five blankets or whatever I've got going on. I, I got to get those done, right? Because they're just sitting there taking up a whole bunch of room. And 
and I need to get them done and get them out of the way because they're starting to bug me. It's all, all in there. That's all, you know, blanket stuff and all that kind of I actually cleaned this up. It actually looks a lot, lot better than it did, but it's still a mess. So I'm, I've decided that when I'm laid up with my foot in the air, um, I'm going to try and get all my whips done. So, uh, also, I have one finished object. Well, kind of two. But uh, it's a hat and cowl set. And Tia is going to model it for you. So, we'll be back. Here's the cowl. <laughs> See, there it is. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I think it's really pretty. It's got beautiful colors. Now, the only thing I don't like about this, oh, I guess I should show you the yarn. This is the yarn that Sandy from Left is Right Crochet sent me, the yarn bee. Oop, let's try that. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it, the, um, the tassels on it kind of leave a little bit on your clothes. And, uh, and also I made the hat and what I didn't realize is that it doesn't have any stretch to it. So when I tried to make it the regular way I do with beanies, it ended up being too small, like right in this area. So, I mean, it looks like it wouldn't be too small, but it actually is really tight on the head. So I would have to make it bigger almost like a, a slouchy hat in order to work. But I think the cowl's beautiful. And the models that, that's modeling it is beautiful too. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it does, it does fray a little bit um, and, and leave little, like little bits on your clothing. But uh, other than that, I mean, once it's washed, I don't know how it works up. I'm really afraid that once I wash this, that this will be really tangled all to hell. So that kind of worries me a little bit. And Diesel's drinking. <laughs> so, but other than that, I think it's beautiful. Maybe the next time I do it, um, I won't do the tassels on it, just in case, because I think it's gonna be a, a real cluster when I do wash it. So that worries me a little bit. So. There it is. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> it does get all my clothes. I told you. Uh, it, it's just very, very flyaway and light and um, very cottony. Like, not cotton, like yarn cotton, but like cotton ball-y. So, yeah. Look at this. Can you see at all? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's got a little bit of hair on it. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> so, um, so anyway, that is my finished project. Uh, okay, last but not least, um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet is at 496 subscribers. She needs this many more we can get her to 500 like right now. Okay, so I will leave her link below. Just look up Lisa's Crochet on YouTube and go and subscribe to her because I want her up in the 500s. <laughs> so, and beyond. So, anyway. Okay, so that's all. I'm going to go and mail off some more books. And, oh, before I forget, the pattern, uh, the Scooty pattern. Oh, I've been having a whole bunch of issues with people trying to uh, load the Scooty pattern. They can get it downloaded, but for whatever reason, they aren't able to open it. The words are overlapping. There's whatever. It's not the pattern. Um, it's 
whatever's going on with computers and printers and all that kind of stuff. But what I did find out is that I didn't upload it as a PFD, a PDF, sorry, PFD. <laughs> I'm still in Dragon Boat mode or something. PFD is your floaty life jacket. Anyway, PDF. I didn't upload it as a PDF. So I have now, okay? So you shouldn't have any more problems, I would imagine. Uh, if you do, again, contact me by email or messenger or whatever, and we will get it worked out. Okay, so thank you all for joining me, and thanks for subscribing. Hit the like, hit the notification bell, and all that. Oh, right. I just got a package from Vistaprint. These are the new shirts that George and I are going to be wearing at our craft fairs. It's the new design. We have our name right here and the Crochet A Canada. And on the back, we have the Maple Leaf and the Watch Us on YouTube. And here's the YouTube channel. So I'm really excited <laughs> to, um, to finally have our new shirts with our new logos because our, our other shirts are black <laughs> and they have the raw, the old logo and everything on it. So I think these look really smart. Um, they're very bright. You can see them and yeah. And they're cute. They're cute. <laughs> totally. So I'm so, so happy about that. And when we start doing craft fairs, I am taking my camera and I am going to be vlogging uh, as well. So you'll be able to see what we do. Okay. So thank you everybody. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and hopefully I didn't forget anything. If I did, I guess I'll be doing another vlog. <laughs> so, okay. I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was so proud of Lisa from Lisa's Crochet and Sandy from Left is Right Crochet um, for making my Scooty. They turned out beautifully. And then um, just a crochet sister. She made one as well. She had a few issues because she doesn't read patterns, but that's okay. Lisa got her through it. Yay, Lisa. Um, and uh, it turned out pretty good. So I'm so happy. I would love to see anybody else who bought my pattern. I would love to see a picture of it and, uh, and let me know what your thoughts are. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. Um, happy October, everyone. I am not going to do October or uh, vlog is, uh, whatever the heck it's called for October. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that this month. I will probably be doing it for December though. <sighs> I can't believe it's already October. <laughs> oh, sweater season. I'm wearing shorts, but I'm wearing a sweater like half and half. Like really? So anyway, um, oh, and Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie, she finally got the mask and she got my book. So it'll be interesting to see what she has to say. Um, I can't wait to see the video where she actually has the mask up on the wall. She's going to put light behind it. It's going to be so cool. So I can't wait to see that. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to my older subscribers. Um, and uh, hit the like button and the notification bell and all that kind of stuff. And we will talk to you probably tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>